Hi there and welcome to this video about um, what is a variable. Well a variable is something that we use in our computer programs when we want to keep track of a value. Okay, It's basically a space that the computer sets aside in memory with a name where we can store a value and often as not that value is something we'd like to use in our program such as a uh, a score in a game or um, someone's name perhaps or a value that we'd like to use, to use in a calculation something like that and we can think of a variable as being like a little Tupperware box um, if you like a little space and it has a name in this case player name and we can store values inside of that okay so maybe I'd like to store the name Georgia inside of my little box there okay so I can place the name inside of there okay and store it and now what I've done there is I have set the value of that variable equal to Georgia and at any point now in my program if I'd like to find out what currently is inside of player name and use it perhaps okay then I just refer to it by the variables name in this case player name so as an example, if I wanted to print player name out onto the screen, okay, then I could just say, well, print player name. Okay? And what would actually happen is it would come along to player name, it would check inside of it and find that the current value is Georgia, and it would use that and print it onto the screen because it just substitutes the value for the variable name. Okay, so let's now have a think about some of the terms that we perhaps have heard about or will hear about with regards to variables and let's try and understand them a little bit. First off, the, one of the terms we'll hear is uh, declaring a variable. Okay? Now, before we can use variables in our programs, in most programming languages anyway, we have to declare them first. We need to actually tell the compiler and, and the, the, um, the, the computer itself, if you like, that we are actually going to have a variable please we'd like to set aside some space in memory so when we declare a variable what we do is we're effectively saying look we'd like to declare a variable and this is its name so it's a bit like saying well okay can you create for me a little space of memory a little box here this one's called player score so the name of this variable is going to be called player score and when we initially create it it is empty okay so we create that variable Okay, and it's ready there, ready for us to store something in. Now, to actually place a value inside of a variable, in, in programming terms, that's called assigning a value to the variable. Okay, so we don't just say, oh, we put a value in, we say, I assigned a value to the variable. Okay, now there's a special term though for the very first time that we do this when we run our program. So when a variable is, has been created and hasn't got a value in yet and we assign a value to it, it's called initialising the variable. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to initialise my variable okay, and I'm going to set its value to 3840. So I'm assigning the value 3840 to the variable player score. Okay? But because it's the first time I've assigned a value to it in this program, it's called initialising the variable. Okay? So I'm going to place that inside of there. Okay? And I've now got player score equal to 3840 by initialising it. Okay. Now, another important thing to remember about variables is that they don't have any memory. I mean, they have a space in memory, if you like, applied to them, which is why we can store things in them. But they don't have any recollection other than the current value that is stored in them. Okay, so as an example, at the moment, player score is equal to 3840. Okay. Now let's say I decide to assign a new value to player score and I'm going to reset it and set player score back equal to zero. Okay. So maybe the game is over and I'm resetting it for the next user perhaps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the value zero. So I've got zero here and when we assign a new value to a variable it basically scraps the old value, completely forgets about it and we've now got zero in there. And that gets stored, so place the lid back on, that's now stored. 
fine. But player score doesn't have any recollection that it was ever set to 3840. All it knows is that its current value is zero. And so, just as before, it's just waiting to be used in our program for us to use the name player score, perhaps in a calculation, or to print it to the screen, or whatever that might be, or maybe in sorting it. And so, it's looking, at, it just looks inside there, finds that its value is zero. It doesn't know that it was ever set to anything else. Okay, so hopefully we've covered a few things there. We've discussed what a variable is, okay, a named space in memory, okay, always has a name, it's a space for us to store a value. We've discussed declaring variables, okay, which is where we effectively create a variable and give it a name, okay, and we've discussed assigning values to variables when we want to place a value into it. We call it assignment or assigning a value. And the very first time we do that for each variable in our program is when we initialize that variable. Hopefully that's taken away some of the mystery about variables for you.